to abandon its plan to implement a harmonized sales tax. We know that this tax is going to impose an additional one word, a seven percent tax on on consumer goods uh, that are currently PST exempt, uh, including school supplies, restaurant meals, hydro bills, safety equipment, strata fees, new homes. All of these things are going to hurt uh, everyone. Uh, as the the the, 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 the it's going to hurt uh, renters. It's going to bring in $1.9 billion in taxes annually, or about $800 per, per, per uh, individual. And it, it's going to not put any additional money into health care, education, affordable housing, job creation. It's all going to subsidize business. We saw in the report we just had, the business taxes. So I think it's prudent for us to say, as the city of Vancouver, that we request the provincial government to abandon this plan to implement a harmonized sales tax. They never told us about it before the election. They sprung it on us after the election. And I think we need to take this forward as it's the next resolution indicates to the Union of BC municipalities and take this issue which has support right across this community and say, no, you don't. You don't get to put in a harmonized tax that is going to make the poorest pay for your tax cut to the, the wealthiest people who can't afford it. And I think it's just, you know, to try and tinker with the tax uh, and ask for exemptions is, is, is a wonderful idea. But I don't think when you harmonize your tax, you can then seek a zero rate for the rental apartment industry. And I don't think you can investigate ways to offset the additional cost. Bill, the provincial government said, well, we've already offset the additional cost because we've, given, we've, we've increased the tax, uh, the tax threshold and we've given 